Sometimes, it's worth taking the quiet quitting route and slowly phasing out trends from your life before it's too late. I have every intention of revealing which design trends are most likely on their way out for 2023, but first I have an important disclaimer to share, context matters. Yes, trends come and go, but at the end of the day, the taste is subjective, and there's no room for the negative projections of others in spaces that make you feel safe, happy, and true to yourself, however, the interiors are decorated. These days, the design cycle is less fleeting than a fast fashion garment. It's a bit more challenging to chuck your Chesterfield sofa just because it's not in this time next year. That being said, we do live in an incredibly fast-paced digital era where crazes become hyper-obsessions until they very quickly reach a peak, become oversaturated, and pass their prime. Welcome to this luxury channel. Watch the full video to learn more about Interior Design Trends 2023. Blobby everything everywhere. The structure is in. While we love blobs, wiggles, and the childhood delight of curvy shapes reminiscent of elevated childhood Play-Doh creations, there's something nice about pronounced lines bringing a bit of form into a room. This isn't a cue to completely abandon all things blobby, it just means when there's a craze for one, like a pendulum, we expect to see a rise in the other. Let's cut it out with the boutique hotel vibes. Squeaky clean kitchens. Under the same vein is the extremely modern minimalist kitchen, which you'll often find in all white or gray. There's not a single bowl on the counter, and God forbid any eccentric marbling in the counter stone. Often, the cabinets will come in a high gloss polish, but certainly never a glossy appliance in sight. A terrifying place to cook. What are we here for? Think the antithesis, celebrity hairstylist Harry Josh's country house kitchen brimming with bowls, plants, and spices on every surface. It's warm, homey, joyful, and welcoming, everything a kitchen should be. Open floor plans. Earlier this year, we informed you that the open floor plan is not disappearing anytime soon. That being said, post-pandemic, the reality remains. If you're living in a city with limited space and home is for work, sleep, and everything but the kitchen sink, then you want it to function as such not to mention. The most charming parts of the home are often the smallest spaces we turn into something cozy, like this perfect breakfast nook in Alex Bass's West Village apartment. The original concept of the guest room might be dead, but that doesn't mean you should stop compartmentalizing through physical spaces too. Boundaries are important, people. All white and gloomy grage interiors. Is it just me, or is everything suddenly starting to look like an RH catalog? The whole grage palette is unnecessarily exhausting. Any decor item you come across, if it's not white or gray, it's on its way. Yes, all white can be sleek and minimalist, but just as often it feels devoid of any personality or fun. If you're looking for a better interpretation of this aesthetic, try all white with a subtle splash of color, like the kitchen in this Upper East Side apartment. It's only one wall, but it brings a whole other dimension to the space. Not to mention how too much gray can really dampen the mood of a room. You don't want your space to feel like it gives off nobody's home vibes, as we like to say. Color-coordinated decor. From black and white photo clusters to color-coordinated bookshelves, this finicky and unnatural look still feels a bit more like a curated Pinterest page than the intimate rooms of someone's actual home. You should be able to stick a new book on your shelf even if there's only space in the pink section. Open your mind to all the possibilities for arranging things. Non-functional objects. With limited space comes limited decorative objects. With that in mind, we're likely to see a shift away from those without function and an increase in those that add both visual intrigue and purpose. Last month, ad editor Sidney Gore brought our attention back to vegetable decor, one of the many timeless porcelain artistries that put the fun in functionality. Now you finally have an excuse to put your plates on the walls. When Sebastian Zuchowicki's traditional client unexpectedly requested a ping-pong table for the dining room, he accepted the challenge and found the perfect piece from Sean Woolsey Studio that wouldn't detract from the French Deco-themed condominium. Pro tip, lighting is a great place to start if you want to integrate a unique piece that serves a purpose, as seen inside the Parisian apartment of Julian Seven and Jonathan Ray. Focus on wellness. In recent years, wellness has become a sizzling topic. Self-care is one of the keys to improving well-being, but an environment geared to facilitate healthy living can make a huge difference too. In fact, wellness design can set the tone for slowing down and practicing mindfulness. In turn, we can function at our utmost. So, you can bet on seeing innovation foster beautifully healthy spaces in months to come. Revisiting beloved styles past is an industry favorite. 
And as interiors move away from the absoluteness of minimalism, we're seeing a renewed interest in more decorative styles, like Art Deco. That said, hyper-maximalism might not be on the cards yet, but ornate details are on the rise. Expect Art Deco's brighter colors, geometric patterns, and symmetry to take over interior design trends of the past. Workplace with flair. The workplace, whether at home or in an office, has been redefined. Yet, only now do these spaces see highly individualized designs. The office may include elements that make work more comfortable. From furniture design to layout to indoor turf, the workspace gets a happy makeover to increase its use and employee productivity. And if you're working from home, this means setting up the interior to your precise needs. Enhanced Home Multifunction Interior design trends in 2023 are sure to support multifunctional homes. Bespoke interiors will cater to everyday activities, as well as entertainment and exercise. They bridge the gap created by situational isolation. As a result, the numbers of lux movie and game rooms, gyms, and saunas are sure to grow. Designer laundry and mudroom. No room is left untouched. Designers and homemakers have a heightened focus on creating homes that serve the inhabitants. That's why every inch matters. Mudrooms and laundry rooms will get the designer treatment. As a result, homes will have the same air throughout, from the entryway to the most utilitarian of spaces. 2023 Seconds Interior Design Trends will certainly grace all corners of an interior. Maximize Natural Light The more we know what benefits human functioning, the more we'll see those elements in interiors, where possible. Natural light is one aspect magnified in current and coming designs. There's a renewed focus on maximizing natural light with big, bare windows, whites, and reflective surfaces. And why not? Natural light can improve our sleep patterns, focus, and mood. Plus, it helps us produce vitamin D. Arcs and rounded shapes have been making their way into interiors for a while now. Crescent sofas, tulip and egg chairs, and circular rugs took center stage bit by bit. Now, 2023 home decor trends are moving on. Say hello to oblong mirrors, architectural details, and mushroom lighting. Cabinets, credenzas, and nightstands also have a curvier outlook for the future. Subscribe to our channel to keep up with new content. Your subscription, support, and feedback are much appreciated.